Welcome to another episode of The Epic Family Road Trip. In last week's episode of the Epic Family Road Trip, we left Moab, Utah after an epic time with Sean from the Story Till Now, exploring the backcountry. This week, we are heading west into the desert of California. Good morning, everyone. We are waking up here in the desert just outside of Yuma, Arizona, and we are on our way to California to meet up with our good friends Brad and Regina from Trail Recon and Marco from Overland X and we're so excited it's been a couple of years since we were able to go camping with with them um, the last time was down in Baja and that was an amazing trip we had together but we're gonna be camping in the Anza Borrega desert of California so we will be arriving in that area probably later today we're gonna spend the night and then get up uh, tomorrow morning and meet up with them rendezvoused in the town of Ramona, California, where we also filled up our fuel tanks for the trip and picked up last minute groceries and supplies. We then jumped on Highway 78 to Anza Borrego. Once we arrived in Anza Borrego, we found a spot to air down our tires before getting on the trail. We are now beginning the trail heading into Canyon Sin Nombre. Okay, we had just aired down all the tires and we are now on the trail heading into the Anza Brega Desert with our good friends Marco from Overland X and Brad, Regina and their son from Trail Recon. Last time we were together with Marco and Brad was uh, down in Baja. We hit some amazing trails. We'll put a link to those videos, so it was a lot of fun. But yeah, we're really looking forward to getting out here and uh, finding some awesome trails and some great camp spots. Canyon Sin Nombre is a picturesque trail that winds through an ancient sandstone and granite canyon with amazing folds and curves in the rocks. The sandstone contains elements and fossils that are over a hundred million years old. We are now entering the Badlands on our way to some mud caves that we will get to explore. Marco of Overland X, who knows this area very well, tells us that this place is always interesting to see because the landscape is ever-changing with the weather and wind. Driving into canyon trails like this is always fascinating as we get such a unique and special perspective of the desert and landscape that you can only get if you venture deeper into the layers of history and erosion where you can see with your eyes the marks of millions of years on the earth that surrounds us.
As we leave Canyon Sin Nombre, the landscape opens up to a sandy wash that will take us to the mud caves. Once we arrived at the mud caves, we all stopped for lunch before going in to explore. It feels so cool just winding through and those big tall cliffs all on the yeah. side of me. Awesome. Made me feel like I was racing the Baja 1000 or something. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, he's getting hot footed. <laughs> Though it's exciting to explore these awesome caves, it can be dangerous as they do collapse and shift a lot, especially after a rain. If you do head into these caves, make sure you don't go alone, bring lots of water, especially in the summer, and have a flashlight with you. That's where the witch is. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. So it changes every year. Yeah, it changes every year. One sometimes it's a witch and then it's a vampire. And it's a <laughs> change wow. The mud caves were so fascinating to walk through and see another perspective of this incredible, ever-changing landscape. mud caves that we just went through. It's all created by uh, flash floods and just water erosion in this area. It's amazing that I can do that and completely stay, in, look, pretty much stay intact like for many years because they've been coming back here. Water keeps making it bigger and longer. Really cool. From the mud caves, we got onto the Arroyo Seco del Diablo, then turned onto the Diablo drop-off trail.
Diablo drop-off is a moderately steep sand hill. The condition of the trail changes frequently with the weather and wind, and can become impassable. But today, it is all good and a fun drive down. Stay tuned for next week's video as we continue our adventure in the Anza Borrego Desert with some of our favorite overlanders. And in the meantime, we'll, we'll see you down, down the road. Yeah. 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 I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>